I have thoroughly vetted and I've gone after and I've severely questioned every single one of these candidates. One of my first things that I do before I sit down and interview a candidate, and I don't care how ignorant this sounds, is I think, how can I make them uncomfortable? What question can I ask them that's immediately going to just chop through that veneer on their face and I'm going to see the real candidate, the real expression? I've done this with every single one of them. But the only candidate that I've ever seriously and thoroughly questioned where people have come after, like a small group of people, most of them are financed on Twitter, uh, where they have said, oh, you're bashing this candidate, you're ignorant to this candidate, you're doing a gotcha question to this candidate. It's called vetting, folks. It's called asking tough questions. That's what it's all about. And I've done no differently with any of these other candidates. There are a few positions that Trump holds that I'm sorry, I find suspect. I don't believe that it's a limited government position to believe in eminent domain, to bastardize the Fifth Amendment, wherein you believe that it's totally cool to collude with government and go after and force private property owners to give you their property, not at just compensation, but to other private business owners so that they can put up a taxi cab or a parking lot. Some of the things that we saw in the Kelo decision. Trump was on the wrong side of this. I don't know how anyone could say that he's the conservative, the conservative candidate when just this week he called for an increase in ethanol mandates. We're subsidizing the corn lobby in Iowa so that we can add corn, ethanol, to our gas. And he's calling for an increase in that ethanol mandate. That's not a limited government position. That's straight up cronyism. That's exactly what that is. And so that Plus the suddenly, you know, we were pro-choice two years ago, then they're pro-life, they were pro-Second Amendment now, but then two years ago uh, he was for the assault weapons ban. It is completely legitimate and it's acceptable and it should be encouraged to ask questions like these. We already went through one administration where the front runner wasn't vetted and we saw where that got us, did we not? Are we seriously going to try to do this again? I get it. People are angry, right? I get that. I mean, there isn't anyone who is more filled with angst and bitterness than me. Hi. I'm a former goth kid. The only reason I'm wearing color is because the production staff at The Blaze was like, can you please stop wearing black all the time? You fade into the set. I'll be in black the rest of the week. Nobody understands this more than I do. I get that. But at the same time, anger is not a solution. And anger isn't a principle. Anger is a great motivator, but it doesn't get you from point A to point B.